Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to solve this non-homogeneous differential equation. Since we have constant 5 here, which is nothing to do with the function y, so I'm going to move it to the right. So we have d square y dx square plus 2 dy dx is equal to x e power of x minus 5. And we can now obtain the complementary function by expressing the left hand side in terms of m and refer to the orders of the derivatives. Since the second order we have square, first order we have m power 1 with the corresponding coefficient 1 plus 2 and set equal to 0. So which means that we have m square plus 2m is equal to 0. Factorize m, we have m plus 2 is equal to 0, which means that m is equal to minus 2 or 0. Since we have two real and distinct roots, which means that the complementary function should have a general form of c1 e to the power of m1x plus c2 e to the power of m2x, which means that for this case, we should have yc is equal to c1 e to the power of negative 2x plus c2 e to the power of 0, anything power 0, we obtain 1. 1 times anything, we get by the same thing. So which means that we have C2 for this case. Next, let's obtain the particular integral for the associated non-homogeneous equation, which is the right-hand side. Firstly, consider the first term. We have A times x e to the power of x. Follow exactly the power, so we have x here. And we should consider this is x to the power of 1, which means that we have first degree here, so we should drop 1 degree, so which means that the next term should be a times x to the power of 0, drop 1 degree, and followed by ex as well. Next is the constant term. If we plus c, we will realize that this is repeated as compared to the complementary function, since we have one constant term here. We should always bear in mind that yc and yp should not have any repeated terms. To avoid them to correct it, we just have to times x. And we can now differentiate with respect to x. If we have exponential function, very easy, you don't have to apply product rule. We just have to copy the constant, copy the exponential function, bracket. Firstly, copy the function x, followed by differentiate the function. Differentiate x is equal to 1. And we have done. Now proceed to the next one. So we have plus b. Since x to the power of 0 is 1, so which means that this is constant, we can ignore. And we just have to differentiate e to the power of x. We get that e to the power of x. Next is to differentiate cx, we obtain c. Differentiate for the second time, also apply the shortcut, copy the constant, copy the function, exponential function. Next is to copy whatever we have in this function. Next is to differentiate this function. Differentiate x, we obtain 1. Differentiate 1, we obtain 0. So which means that we have x plus 1 plus 1. Next, we have bex. So same, bex plus c. When we differentiate, we obtain 0. And we can now simplify. So which means that we have a times ex, x plus 1 plus 1, which means that we have plus 2, plus b times e to the power of x. Next, let's substitute what we obtain into the differential equation. So which means that we have the second order, which is a e x times x plus 2 plus b x plus 2 times of the first derivative. So we have 2 a e x times x plus 1 plus 2 b e x plus 2 c. And we set equal to x e to the power of x minus 5. Let's simplify. We have a e x times x plus 2 a e x plus b e x plus 2 a e x times x plus 2 a e x plus 2 b e x plus 2c and this is equal to x e to the power of x minus 5. Let's rewrite the left hand side by a group according to their similar term. We can first refer to x e x. Let's check. We have a 
2 a and no more so which means that we should have a plus 2 a which is 3 a next refer to the term with only ex 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 so which means that we have 2 a plus b plus 2 a plus 2 b so which means that we're supposed to have 4 a plus 3 b and we times e to the power x lastly the constant which is only 2 c and this is equal to the right hand side x e x minus 5 let's compare by comparing we can see that x e x x e x so which means that 1 is equal to 3a which means that a is equal to 1 over 3 next we have ex but we don't have ex on the right so which means that 4a plus 3b must be equal to 0 and this means that 4 times 1 over 3 plus 3b is equal to 0 and we have 3b is equal to negative 4 over 3 divide both sides by 3 and we should obtain b is equal to minus 4 over 9 lastly we have 2c is equal to negative 5 which means that c is equal to negative 5 over 2 and we can now form the particular integer according to what we said so which means that we have a 1 over 3 times x e x plus b b is negative 4 over 9 e x and plus c which is negative 5 over 2 x and we should now be able to form the general solution for this differential equation which is equal to the complementary function plus the particular integer so which means that we have c1 e to the power negative 2x plus c2 plus 1 over 3x e to the power of x minus 4 over 9 e to the power of x minus 5 over 2x and hence we're done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you